Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. When it comes to camera autofocus, for most YouTube content creators, we're focused on autofocus when it comes to having our face in front of the camera in vlogging situations or just talking head videos. Now, I am using the Panasonic G85 and I've done many videos on autofocus and it's primarily focused on that. However, today I'm going to be doing an autofocus test whenever you are not in a vlogging or face in front of the camera situation to see how it performs. So let's go ahead and test this out. For fast website hosting and top-notch customer service and features, check out SiteGround, the preferred service used at geekoutdoors.com. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below.
And so now I'm testing the autofocus indoors to see how it handles different types of objects with varying distances and also different colors as well. And so far, it looks like it's focusing correctly, uh, although it does take a little bit of time depending on the object that you are putting your camera on. And if there are a lot more colors and things in your video, then uh, it would take just a little bit longer. And in some cases, uh, it might not focus at all. But in this case, it looks like it's working. And so that is my autofocus test for the Panasonic G85. Whenever you're not doing vlogging style or face in front of a camera videos, and the autofocus modes that I was using here was the AFC and AFS. I primarily used the 49 area and one area that usually worked a lot better because obviously my face is in front of the camera. So I did try this with the face and eye tracking. It didn't work out too well. And I tried the custom as well. And so if you are going to be shooting videos where your face is not in front of the camera, I highly recommend that you try 49 area and one area for whenever you want to you know, focus on a single point. And overall, my impressions of the autofocus here with the Panasonic G85 is it works better than having videos where you have your face in front of the camera. And as you probably saw on the samples that I have, it's not entirely 100%. There were still a few areas where it didn't focus, especially when you're going from the foreground to the background. But for the most part, the autofocus system worked better in this case than versus trying to track your face. And so that is it for this particular video. If you wanted to see my other videos where I did autofocus tests for the Panasonic G85, I will leave that in the description area below. And if you actually have any other thoughts or tips on this, I would like to know that in the comments area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.